when it comes to honorable prime minister of our country he is a different person with great tangential thinking based on his vision we are going to have a chandrayaan 4 mission we are going to have a venus orbiter mission we are going to have a space station called bas by 2035 india will have a space station on its own and the first module will be lifted off by 2028 when it comes to honorable prime minister of our country he is a different person with great tangential thinking the vision direction given by him based on his vision we are going to have a chandrayaan 4 mission we are going to have a venus orbiter mission we are going to have a space station called bas by 2035 india will have a space station on its own and the first module will be lifted off by 2028 and he has given approval for ye yeah, nglb next generation launcher and next generation launcher configuration little bit we have modified the first launcher which lifted off from indian soil the slb3 the prade director was none other than apj abdul kalam and done under the work under the leadership role of professor sadish tawan that capability of the vehicle was hardly 35 kg to low earth orbit i don't underestimate capability at that point of time it was a great capability and the lift off mass of the rocket was 17 ton from that we have moved gradually step by step today we are we have conceived a rocket to take 80000 kg to low earth orbit and a 40 story height rocket with 2600 ton capability lift off mass capability powered by 27 240 ton lock smith engine what a significant and great progress and dear friends lot of new technologies we have demonstrated this year the semi cryo propulsion system we have made breakthrough the test stand was declared to the country by honorable prime minister of india in 2023 we have completed almost seven tests in that test stand high thrust electric propulsion lot of things are done and finally yes satellite launch vehicle everything is meant for application for the common man of this country and application we are doing outstanding work there are 55 applications and we had a national meet after 10 years yesterday we have concluded and that has given a direction guideline for the application including sat communication satellite navigation and earth observation for the country we conducted based on the direction of honorable prime minister chintan shivier he has given the vision for 2047 we have written the road map how to achieve that vision also how to take the space program up to 1962 being the 100 years of isro indian space program we have chartered out the entire program today everything is going to be released here the theme of today's space program space day celebration from aryapatta to gaganya which pays tribute to the progress achieved by our ans and astronomers and mathematicians of mathematicians over the decades we have mastered lot of technologies in the space program in nutshell under the visionary leadership of honorable prime minister and able guidance of our minister of state and we have got the principal scientific advisor to pm he gives then and there necessary direction and guideline also the space commission members are here iic director is here and with all their guideline vision and the strong foundation made by the former leaders of isro and the contribution of each and every one of you i would like to say by 2040 india will be based on the direction of prime minister we are going to land on the moon the crewed mission will be on the moon and we are going to bring back safely thereby 2040 indian space program will be in par with any other space faring nations in terms of launcher in terms of human space flight program in terms of application in terms of satellite everything will be in par 